Hi everyone, thank you uh, very much for being being here today with us. Uh, I'm Francois Flech from the marketing department and uh, today I'm here with uh, Madi Benani from the tech support. Uh, hello Madi. Hello Francois, hello everybody. Thank you, for, thank you for being here today and I'm really happy to present today with, Fran with Francois the variable tracking episode. Yeah, so um, this uh, this episode is the second one uh, of our uh, PCV Tech web series about the maintenance for uh, for your PCV project. Uh, last week we uh, did have a presentation about the project version management, and uh, today the variables tracking. And the next two episodes will be about um, uh, audits and diagnostics and historical data server. So uh, once again, thank you for uh, for joining us. Um, so it's not possible as there uh, there's many people here today to uh, for you to uh, to ask question uh, uh, directly by uh, by audio. But uh, feel free to um, to chat with us uh, during the webinar, and uh, we'll have a question and answers uh, session at the end of the uh, of the webinar. So we'll be able to. Uh, uh, to answer any question you may have. You must know as well that this session is recorded, so uh, it will be available uh, on our YouTube channel for a replay. And also, uh, you can contact me directly. Uh, I'll give you my email contact uh, at the end if you have any uh, other question after the webinar. So let's go. So the... Uh, the variable tracking. Uh, so I'm I'm going to introduce uh, the variable tracking in few words with uh, uh, two or three slides, and then uh, I let Madi uh, show us with a uh, with a real project uh, how it uh, how it works. So basically, you have uh, several tools, but you have the tracking grid and um, some real-time tracking tools available in PC View. So the tracking Grid is a built-in component in PC View, uh, mainly designed to display any kind of data, any kind of information, but with a specific uh, option, I would say, dedicated to display the whole list of variables of your project and uh, the real-time value of those variables. So as you can see here on the screen, uh, this is an example where you have um, the name and the description of variable, and um, and then we cannot see here on the screen, but if you scroll right the uh, the bar, you will have the the value. So this grid uh, automatically displays the list of variable and their uh, real time value, and you can apply some filters on it to display. Um, specific variable or value. It's also possible to uh, to control this grid from a SCADA basic if needed, if you want more flexibility in the way you want to display information, uh, depending on um, the mimic you open, you may want to display a specific uh, information and then apply a specific filter and you can do it by SCADA basic. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about the SCADA basic, but if some people uh, don't know, uh, the SCADA basic is a specific program uh, editor to um, to control about anything in PCV. And you must know that this uh, this grid uh, is included in the Quick Start project. So Madi uh, will will describe that and, and show that more in detail uh, just after. So if you need an example of how to use this uh, grid, you can uh, start a quick start and then uh, check uh, how to um, how to use it. So this tracking grid um, is very useful when uh, you have to uh, do the commissioning of, of sites and then you want to have an overview of all the, uh, the variable and all the real time value. Uh, then you can test uh, also, 
and uh, it's also useful to uh, monitor and control specific group of variables in real time. So I would say that for uh, the designer, for the system integrators, this tool uh, is uh, very, uh, very useful. Another way to uh, have uh, real-time tracking of the value of your project is to simply use the Application Explorer. So the Application Explorer is uh, an all-in-one all in one configuration tool where you can configure almost everything on your project, including uh, the variables, the tags. As you can see here, there's an example. And um, as you can see, also uh, in the um, in the right part of the application explorer, you see the variable name and the real time value. So from here, it's possible to have uh, the real time values of a group of variable. It's not possible to control the value from here, um, but you can uh, read the the value. Also, and uh, here in this example, we focused on that, you have some system variable. So system variables in PC view are very specific variables, uh, most of the time automatically created when you start a project and um, with uh, values dedicated to a specific um, uh, component. For example, here, um, we, you are in the HDS system variables and you have automatic variable uh, for the error count or the uh, overflow and so on. So obviously then you can use those variables to create a specific display in a mimic, uh, displaying all the real-time value. So now uh, stop to talk and uh, let's uh, switch to the to the demo so madly i give you the uh, the role and you may be able to share your screen now yes it's okay all right you, you can see my screen now yeah so so hello everyone again, and I want to thank you for being present today for this webinar, for this demo. And before we start talking about uh, variable tracking, I present briefly the QuickStar project that uh, we are also going to use uh, here in uh, in this uh, for this presentation. So we're here in PC View with the DVD, when you have the possibility to install uh, with the DVD the QuickStart project. Uh, as uh, you have seen here, uh, and when it start, it starts with this project. You can uh, you can choose a predefined uh, interface that uh, you can use for for your own applications. For example, here if you want uh, a style of premium rounded buttons and uh, a brown theme with a green color, uh, you can test the configuration dynamically and you have a previsualization of the of the of the mimic of or the model you want to have uh, in your presentation if you doesn't like this you don't like this uh, this mimic you can choose a lighter theme uh, with uh, another color blue for example and test your configuration and if it suits you you can uh, you can uh, name your mimics or choose the number of mimics that your project you would have to uh, you would like to have here for this presentation we will name our project variable tracking then we generate the project here pc view will restart and it says that will be closed and when we restart pc view we have the variable tracking project already created when we start it We have the the mod the mimic the theme that we have uh, uh, we have choose chosen. So here uh, we will go into the menu insert in this design mode, and we will insert the grid. So the grid is 
uh, a graphic component uh, coming with the PC view uh, and it uh, allows uh, to display uh, data in a grid like this. Uh, for example, we will use the, the grid today to track project variables. Uh, so here from the variables, the variables tab, uh, we can check the option variable tracking and we will let all other uh, things in uh, by default and we will have all the variable uh, all the, we, we will display all the real time values of uh, of the variables in the grid so here all the variables in the in the project are here and there is also the possibility to for some variables that are accessible in uh, right mode uh, for example, this one to uh, send commands and to write uh, to write uh, some uh, items. So uh, here in the settings, we have a lot of uh, parameters that we can uh, we can uh, we can choose. For the types, we, you can choose to uh, to select just the bytes uh, or uh, or uh, select bytes and the registers, for example, to show in your in your grid. Uh, you have uh, you have also the right to choose the the type of the sorting you you would like if it's ascending or descending. Uh, for displaying, you can also choose to display the name, the label, or the name and the label, both of them. And for the variable values, you can choose to, to if it's a bit value or associated la label. And for send commands, you can also choose how do you want to send commands. If you want to click on the cell, uh, on, in the on the value of the cell only, or by clicking on the name or the value of the cell, uh, and also disable sending commands. There is also an option that can disable sales modification by a SCADA program, as uh, as uh, Francois explained. Because uh, we can use uh, you, ca you can we can use this uh, the grid with uh, with SCADA Basic to have more options that uh, that are not uh, necessary here in this uh, parameter in this uh, settings uh, pop up. Uh, we have also the possibility to use filters. So here for the filters we have two types: the regular and SQL filters. We can have more information about this in the PC view help. So you can go here and choose contents or by select by pressing the the key F1 if F1. In the contents, we are going to the development, the HME section, graphic control and viewers, and grid control. Here we can choose the using the grid as a regular expression to filter the list of variables so here we have a, a lot of characters that uh, that uh, allows us to to make the to make a filter uh, uh, i would recommend to use uh, in spite of that the the sql expression to filter because it's more common uh, for uh, for people who use a lot of uh, sql uh, databases and it's uh, easier to 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 use when we have when you have uh, a lot of uh, variables in your uh, in your project. Uh, so you have operators that you can use, and uh, and here if we take an example, uh, you can show uh, the name. Uh, you can display the name of the variable uh, with the exact name, or you can choose the the, the parameter name like to display. Uh, all the variables that have the name beginning uh, with building uh, one, for example, we we will uh, we will make a little uh, test for of it. So here in variables, we will choose SQL variable tracking filter, and we'll type the command name like here. Write alarm synthesis dot star to have all the characters after that and then we validate the, cha the changes and then we have just the alarm synthesis the variables that are starting with alarm synthesis and it's a real-time uh, data values uh, so it's, it's the first thing that, uh, that it's the the basic things that you can do with the with the grid to to track your variables 
And with the quick start project, you have also uh, a predefined uh, real time variable tracking that uh, that is uh, easy to use and uh, more user friendly. Uh, here you have all, all the, the variables of the, the database and you can choose to show, uh, for example, uh, just uh, the system variables and it will be done uh, automatically. If you want to complete this filter, here you have the name of the filter. And if you want to complete it, for example, you want to have just the, uh, the name like system uh, but type of alarms. You can apply these changes and you will have just the systems that are the types uh, alarms. Uh, if you want to do a, another uh, filter, you can reinitialize and then you can choose, uh, for example, name and uh, name like, and you can write here the name of the, of the variable you, you want. Dot star. And when you add the combination, you apply, you have just the variables with alarm synthesis uh, here. So uh, it is possible to use this uh, this uh, this mimic from the quick start project, but it is also possible to use it from your uh, for your own project that is not necessarily created uh, with uh, with quick start project. And if you want to have the, this one in your project, you can go to the application explorer, then in the libraries, and uh, in local libraries you have the library L variable tracking. So this uh, this uh, this library have all the the things, the, all the all the mimics, all the 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 images and the programs that uh, that can allow to have uh, the exact the exact same functionment of this uh, of this uh, variable uh, tracking grid. Uh, Another thing to 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 know about uh, variable tracking is the application explorer. So, uh, as I think uh, you you know uh, you know very well this uh, uh, the variable selector, and here we can have the real time values of the of the of all the variables that we that we want but uh, we cannot uh, edit them or uh, write values or send comments from here. It's uh, just in read mode only. Uh, so you can uh, take your variables here from here uh, when you are in, uh, in uh, design mode. Uh, it would be interesting to have this view when you are in, uh, in display mode and uh, to do it you can go to the to the actions and select the fun function keys in the function keys here you have a preselected uh, keys that you it's the shortcuts uh, that you can use for your for your project uh, for example when you press f1 you go to the help when you press f2 you connect uh, the user and uh, here we will create a new shortcut for the variable selector Its trigger is, uh, for example, the space bar. You can choose it. And when the space bar is up, normally it will be triggered. And the type is a standard action. Here, if you want to execute a function or send animation, but in this case, it's a standard action. And it's a variable selector. We will validate the changes and then when we go in run mode, we press the space bar and we have automatically the, uh, the application explorer. So you don't have to, uh, to, uh, to, to have this, uh, this uh, menus to, to access to it. Uh, so as I said there uh, before, uh, you, it's just on read the mode only. You cannot access to this variable in write mode. Uh, another important thing is the system variables. Uh, when you go to the help of uh, PC view, you can search, search for a uh, system and you will have 
uh, a lot of system variables that will that are necessary and provide information that uh, for for your project that can be really interesting and really useful to to use in your uh, in your project here uh, it's a system that these are user account system variables uh, so we have a, a list of uh, of them here we can see that there are types it's a type it's a text type for example for this one and it is created auto automatically uh, for 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 others there are uh, who, there are variables who should be created which should be created manually that's uh, that's the thing because uh if you create for example uh, an, a new project you won't have uh, this this variable created automatically you should do it manually to have its information uh, uh, displayed in in pc view we can do a, a little uh, example of it here we go in the design mode we create our, our system variable with an animation text to uh, to display the user so we select the user and then we select okay and we go to run mode and we, when we are in this run mode we, we don't have uh, uh, the name of the user connected because there is no user connected when we press uh, f2 and we log on little uh, difficult to write the password <laughs> and here we are connected and we have the name of the user it's a first uh, example of it and uh, there is also other uh, system variables related to uh, alarm counters so here we can have the the number of alarms that are uh, in the project, which are uh, on or off or uh, masked, and those variables are variable system that can be used for for your project, uh, and the variable names are in this format. So if you want to look for them, you can just uh, follow this uh, this uh, this tree. Uh, I will show you uh, just an example of using them. Here in the quick start projects in the alarm view, we have eight alarms of AC. And if we go in design mode and we ungroup it, we, we will show you how uh, it is done. So it's the variable system of that all. And this variable is showing, showing us the variables that, that, that are analogic and uh, are off. So it's uh, an example of it. Sorry. Uh, there is also uh, HDS status variables, uh, for example, that you can use to to know how the your HDS is uh, is uh, is working. If it's uh, working correctly, if you it's if the if all your databases are correctly set, if the maintenance has uh, has been done correctly, and uh, those variables uh, can help you to uh, follow correctly your um, your uh, your project and you can use them also for uh, for your mimics if you want to uh, show some display some information that can be uh, important for the user of or for the 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 person who with, who uses the pc view so uh we recommend to use these variables to to have a global idea idea of uh, for, of your project and uh, that's the the end of uh, the demo session if you have uh, questions you we are here to to respond to to them thank you uh, thank you very much Mary. um so let's wait for a few questions um i can uh, take back the yeah. Presentation. Okay.
Okay, there's a <clears throat> there's one question here. Uh, is it possible to export the data from a, from a grid? Uh, yes, it's uh, possible to to do that. Uh, and uh, in order to 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 do it, it should be in uh, in historic mode only. Uh, okay. I don't okay. know if you want to. If uh, I can, I can show a little uh, a little uh, thing to do if you, if you want to export the data. But uh, normally in the in the in the pop-up to conf to configure the settings of the variables here i will show you my screen in we, if we insert grid here we have a historical tab when we go to the historical tab we can tick the historical mode here uh, you can choose the that the data that you want to uh, to to add uh, from your trend selector from from the from the trends uh, for example if you want this uh, this value you can add it and then uh, we will validate the chances by default and when we go to run mode we will have the values here and we will have this button that uh, allows us to export data like the data export and when we click on it we, you, you can choose the the variable to export and then uh, you choose the, your period and then the type of the sampling and you will have your uh, the desktop preview and then you can export it in uh, in excel file type or in csv as uh, as you want and then when we finish it uh, it's uh, it will be uh, saved in your computer and you can use it for your other applications yeah and um, it's uh, it's uh, interesting because you can do that uh, in runtime so no need to have uh, uh, the design mode or the the, the configuration menu to uh, to do it so it's also for uh, um, for operators in in, uh, in runtime Exactly. Uh, it should be configured the, se the, the first time and then you can use it as you want for the variables you want. Yeah. Mm, okay. And um, in, in the same topic, uh, is it possible to import value from a third party system into this grid as well? Uh, the, the answer is yes. Uh, but we can't do it dynamically like uh, like this one. Uh, if you want to import data, uh, you should uh, use the SCADA basic programs. And there is a, a verb, uh, a SCADA basic verb uh, that is related to uh, to, uh, to, gr to the grid. Uh, and is here in the selector, you have uh, all the, the verbs that you can use uh, to uh, to do import or to uh, to change settings in your uh, in your mode. It's not uh, it's not uh, complicated to use because there is also example that shows that show how uh, how it can be used uh, in uh, in uh, in a lot of uh, ways. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's great. And um, and also there's some. Uh sample project in the in the knowledge base uh, i guess about those topic exactly uh, if needed all right um okay thank you very much madi there's no more question for now so um if uh, there's no more question uh, i just want to introduce the next uh, uh, the next uh, pacific tech uh, web uh, web session uh, so next week we'll talk about audit and diagnostic and the week after about HGS. So uh, feel free to uh, to come in and uh, we'll be happy to uh, to have you. If you have any more question, feel free to contact me directly at this email address. Uh, I will be more than happy to, uh, to answer or to um, uh, tell you uh, who to contact to, to have the, the right answer. 
Thank you very much again. Thank you, Madi. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, and uh, hope to see you uh, soon for uh, for the next session. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye.